What's up everybody, this is your boy Dryden Matoro and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more Grand Theft Auto V gaming content. And with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to bypass any Grand Theft Auto V updates and still play the latest game version. So all you guys gotta do is download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below. It is the GJV launch bypass, okay guys, so download this mod, I will leave this inside my description below. All you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game. Hover over it, right click and open file location. Now as you guys can see, I do have mods inside my folder. But what I'm going to do is show you guys how to play with the latest and with the mods too. Okay, so over here I've got my GTA V game, okay. This is my GTA V game. This is the folder for my tutorials. I always use this folder for my tutorial videos. So this is what I use, okay guys, and there is mods in here. Now this folder over here is the folder that I use to go online. And as you can see, there's absolutely no mods in here, and it's, it's just a complete clean folder. There's no mods. Now what I'm going to do, okay, is that I'm going to update this folder to the latest version, but I'm going to leave this one over here and still play with mods and go into the game. Don't forget guys, you always have to make a backup folder just in case. So let's get straight into it. So all you guys gotta do is go to your mod folder, the folder that you always use, okay, for mods, which which in my case, it is my tutorial folder. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna open up the GTA V launch bypass extract folder. And all you guys got to do is select your INI file and your ASI file, drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Now exit out of your extract folder and all you guys got to do is right click, refresh your folder and then that's it. Okay. Now go back to your um, other folder which is your online folder. Okay. Now what you got to do okay, over here is right click rename it I'm just gonna rename it as one press enter go to online right click rename it and then make sure it's GTA V and now you can go here open file and then there you go and now it's changed so what we got we are going to do right now this is only a version 1.48 okay we're going to go in the game and I'm going to show you guys proof that, um, that I'm going to update this version, okay? It is updating by itself, okay? Over here, can you see the green bar? It's just only updating by itself, okay? So what I'm going to do, okay, is that I'm just going to speed the process because the update is kind of huge, so I'm going to fast forward the process. back again guys so as you guys can see that the loading is finished um so it's loading the game right now so i don't know if it's gonna pop an update or whatever so um yeah so we're gonna go and yeah the, yep there it goes and we're gonna go and check now to see what's the version Just follow the mouse guys, okay? Follow the mouse. And it's version 1.50, see over here? 1.50. So, 
the uh, so the downgrade of resin is 1.48. So this is 1.50, guys. But I'm gonna quit it, okay, because this is already updated. And go to yes. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to show you guys how to get in the game in version 1.48 and still play with mods. Okay, so over here, go back to Grand Theft Auto V game and hover over it and then go to file location. Now go back to your Grand Theft Auto V folders, okay, which is over here, your game folders. And just only right click over here and just rename that to whatever you want, which is in my case, this is my online. And Go back over here, and then now there again. Now this is my modded account, okay? This is my modded um, folder. So as you guys can see, I have installed the GTA V launch bypass ASI and INI. Now all you guys gotta do, okay, once you install your GTA V launch bypass files, go to your GTA 5, okay, over here, right click, and run as administrator and then just minimize that guys and now here we go just need to wait for a few seconds Now follow the mouse guys, see, down the bottom, it says 1.48. So this is the downgraded version. So you guys saw me installing the um, the folder and that was 1.15 and this is 1.48. And now we can play with mods. Just to give you guys proof, we're gonna go in storing mode and we're gonna go and just open up a menu and spawn a vehicle and etc. And so you guys would know the proof that it does work. And so you guys can still play with mods. But the only bad news is that you cannot uh, play online and you can't play uh, with the updated version, which is the heist for the casino. So, yeah. So we're going to wait for, uh, for a bit, guys, okay? Um, I'm going to fast forward this and I'll see you guys once we get to the end. And now we are back as Franklin. So, as you guys can see, Behind me is the casino in story mode. See you guys? So I do have mods. As you guys can see, the casino is right there. And now what I'm going to do to give you guys, to give you guys more proof is that I'm going to spawn a vehicle over here. Now we are going to press F3. And that will open up my menu. See guys, I am using mods and it still works. So let's go to vehicle spawning and, and let's just just spawn a vehicle. Uh, let's spawn us on. See, that still works, guys. So, yeah, this is an awesome vehicle. So, yeah, so that works. Um, and my menu still works. F8. See, guys. Um, add on pad still works. So, yeah, uh, this, is, this is quite cool, guys. So, yeah, guys, uh, that is how you bypass any Grand Theft Auto V update and still play on the latest game version. And we are back again guys, so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod. So yes guys, um, unfortunately guys, this is the only way for me to help you guys, okay? For those who want to still play with mods. So, like always guys, I did tell you that this video is all about on how to bypass any Grand Theft Auto V update and still play on the latest game version so that's how you guys do it so really importantly guys make sure that you make multiple folders for your Grand Theft Auto V and now so you can have like a original copy and you can have an online copy and you can have like a modded copy like you know a folder that has mods in it so yeah that's how you guys do it okay and that's how you actually still play with mods and still play with the latest game version if you guys still get stuck okay then let me know and i'll be more than welcome to help you guys out 
And yes, guys, um, unfortunately, I don't know when Squid Hoggery is going to be updated. So it's going to be really, really hard for me to know. Not only that, but it is Christmas soon. And um, unfortunately, uh, I heard news from the forums page inside the website, gta 5 um, mods.com okay I heard like a rumor is that um, that uh, Scott Hog V for GTA V might be released maybe next year don't know because um, uh, Alexandra which is the owner of Scott Hog V he is uh, he is basically working on the Scott Hog V for uh, for Red Dead Redemption 2 so he's working on that that's why so uh, so it's gonna be harder because he's working on Red Dead Redemption 2 Scottle V and not only that it's Christmas and he wants to spend time with family so it may be released like next year or if he's in a good mood then it may be released like next week or next next week don't know well, yeah, I have no idea. So, um, I hope he does release a soon for you guys to make you guys happy. But unfortunately, that is it for me. Okay, guys, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. This video is only to give you guys news on how to bypass any update and still play online with the latest game version, and to give you guys more news about Script on Me. So, yes, guys, unfortunately. That is it for me, and I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe for more Grand Audio V gaming content. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.